anyway, this is all kind of just super sketchy, right? When you think about the money that was going back and forth into the Biden accounts, when you think about the 20 LLCs that were started right after Joe Biden became vice president, when you think about the what is this? NBC News reports $11 million between the years 2013 to 2018 were coming in from a lot of places, including Ukraine. This is a story that NBC News reported on in May of last year, and it was evident because of all the information that was in the laptop. Yeah, yeah, that same laptop that they tried to tell us was all nothing but Russian disinformation. So this is not looking good. It's not looking good. And the White House there, they are just trying to distance and distance and distance themselves, and thus the president, from anything going on. It's just a personal issue, right? Just personal between Hunter and, well, law enforcement. Here we go. Here is Karine Jean-Pierre talking about this just the other day. Listen to what she says. Today, this is a personal matter uh, for Hunter Biden. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a personal issue. And uh, as you know, this has been done in an independent way uh, by the Department of Justice. It has <laughs> yeah, real independent, real independent. I mean, I don't know how this is independent when we've now seen two whistleblowers come forward and say, they tried to bring charges in Delaware and in California, and they were shut down. And David Weiss, he allowed for that and then was publicly saying, oh, no, no, nobody was interfering in this. Nobody was interfering. And now he's special counsel. Like, I like to think that people are ethical. I like to think that it's all on the up and up and that he's a professional and he's out there just going to do his job. I really do. I want to believe that, right? Like, how can I not want to believe that? But yet simultaneously, I'm going to go back to this, which just is the law. And the law states, quote, the special counsel shall be selected from outside the United States government. So this guy, David Weiss, he's not. So regardless of what you think of him, period, right? Whether he's legit, not legit, we don't even have to go down that path. It's a non-starter. He's already part of the government. And the reason why this is so concerning, the reason why I think the White House is like, no, no, it's just a personal matter, is because it may not have been. When you talk about $11 million that was going into the account from Ukraine, and there were some other weird things like diamonds coming from China and a Porsche from who knows where. But anyway, when you think about that, and then you think about how Joe Biden was responsible for Ukraine policy as vice president in the United States and controlled a heck of a lot of money that would be going to Ukraine at a very vital time. It was during the Maiden Revolution, you recall, a few years back, and the Ukraine needed the support to distance itself from Russia, et cetera. And he was kind of over there saying, okay, we got to end all the corruption. In order to end all the corruption, we got to get rid of the guy that's doing the investigation into Burisma, which just happened to be, conveniently enough, the energy company where his son worked. He had a board position at $83,000 a year. But, you know, I, that didn't factor into anything. I mean, are you kidding me? Here he is. This is the infamous quote. I want you to watch all of it. It's a couple of minutes here. We got to dissect and discuss because here he is speaking, I believe, with Richard Haas at the Council on Foreign Relations uh, just a few years ago, talking about that particular time and how he got rid of the prosecutor, Victor Shokin, Victor Shokin, you'll recall, was looking into none other than Burisma. And even according to Victor, and he came out with this statement just about a week ago, according to Victor Shokin, he was looking into the money that was going from Burisma to Hunter Biden. Hmm. Well, I, I, I was, not I, I, but it just happened to be that was the assignment I got. I, I, I got all the good ones. Uh, uh, and uh, so I got Ukraine. And uh, um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, right, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion-dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to the press conference. Said, "No, nah. I said I'm not going to. We're, we're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money." Well, son of a bitch, <laughs> got fired. Ah, what do you know? 
Funny how that works, right? So this is really the heart of the issue. What government needs to know, what the American people need to know, is whether that money, the $11 million reported on by NBC News in May of 2022, whether that $11 million, again, it's still alleged because they got to go through all the records, et cetera, did that have any connection to the policy that took place, as you just saw, in which they were going to get no money at all unless they got rid of the very guy who happened to be looking into all of it. I mean, this is not good. Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, Not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.